In this tip of the week, we will review ways to locate quality videos for instructional use. When you are in the Rich Text Editor, whether you are adding content to a page, setting up an assignment, starting a discussion, or even developing questions for an exam, you are able to search for and select videos from various outside sources. To do so, you can click on either the More External Tools icon, which is the silver V, or on the Public Resources icon, which is the three stacked books. From these tools, you have access to videos from services such as Khan Academy, TED Ed, Vimeo, SchoolTube, and YouTube. With so many videos available to use through external tools, it is important to find quality instructional videos from these resources. You can select on a tool and search a topic. And when you select a video from one of the available services, it is important to preview the video to ensure that the information is accurate, the video is well produced, and that the picture and sound are high quality as well. It is also recommended that videos be 10 minutes or less in length for retaining viewer attention. If this is the video you want, select Embed. You will see a placeholder in the Rich Text Editor. Press Save to preview the video. Another important consideration for video quality is closed captioning in order to meet ADA compliance and Section 508 laws. If the videos meet ADA compliance during initial development, then little or no additional work will be needed to modify the course content to accommodate a student with accessibility needs. If you are using a video from an outside source, such as YouTube, it is important to verify the quality of the captions that are provided with the video. Let's look at an example of this now. For this video, there is only one set of default subtitles, which is an automated captioning service provided by YouTube. Let's verify the accuracy of these captions. As you can see, apostrophes are showing as code. Arlene Francis's last name was identified by the closed captioning services as friend. The name of the game show is What's My Line? It's now promoted as What's My Life? Spectacle became irrespective. We would not want to use this video with these subtitles for this example. Videos with captions with less than a 98% accuracy rate do not qualify as acceptable per Section 508 and per ADA quality standards. It is necessary that all instructional videos have accurate closed captions or an accurate transcript in order to meet ADA compliance standards. When selecting videos, you may also decide to forego the video selection tools in the Rich Text Editor and simply link to videos that live outside of the course. It is important to verify any links and embedded videos to ensure that playback is smooth and accurate. When copying content from semester to semester, it is best practice to test all of your videos to ensure that the video is still available from the site that it's hosted on. You will want to consider the same video quality requirements if you develop your own resources. Instructional Design and Delivery has various development tools and methods for educational content video creation. Please feel free to contact ID&D for consultation on how to create and manage transcripts and or captions for your instructional video. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following resources.